What about thyroid markers? You know, there's a thought where if you don't have enough uh, carbohydrates, then you're not knocking on insulin's door, your insulin gets too low, and that really impacts your thyroid markers. So your T3 drops, your TSH may be imbalanced. Well, first of all, we often do see T3 going lower. So T3 is the most active thyroid hormone. Yeah. And the reason for this is that it becomes more effective. So in the same way that your insulin levels will reduce when the resistance to insulin is removed because you don't need persistently high levels of insulin if it's working better. If your thyroid hormone is working better, if your T3 is working better, you simply don't need as high levels. And if you understand that, if you understand that concept, then you go back and have a look at the TSH. And TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. Now, the way this actually works is that if your body perceives that it doesn't have enough T3 being active, it will send a signal back to part of the brain called the anterior pituitary gland, which will then release thyroid stimulating hormone. So in the state of a, your body detecting a deficit of T3 activity, it will increase the TSH. So higher TSH means less active thyroid. Usually what we'll see is that even if the TC, T3 is going down, we will also see the TSH going down at the same time. And the TSH going down indicates that the body is perceiving an increase in thyroid activity. So this whole concern about T3 going down, it must mean that uh, your thyroid is less active, that it doesn't reflect the reality. It's all about uh, the effectiveness of that T3. And then you go back to the TSH and have a look at the rel relative effect. Now, it's also hugely complicated because a lot of people on carnivore have autoimmune diseases. They often, they often find themselves on the carnivore diet because of autoimmune disease. And the most common autoimmune disease we have is something called Hashimoto's thyrotoxicosis. What this means is that your immune system is attacking this thyroid gland that's sitting in the base of your neck on the front here. Now, what actually happens is when you have an active autoimmune attack, then the preformed thyroid that's stored in the thyroid gland will be released. And if you have a pulsatile attack on the thyroid, you'll have a release of thyroid hormone in a pulsatile manner. So there'll be periods of thyroid overactivity when you're having this periodic activation of Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Mm. In the longer term, once you've destroyed most of the thyroid gland, you actually end up suppressing the body's ability to secrete thyroid hormone. Basically, the gland's been irreversibly destroyed and you'll end up uh, flicking over into a state of persistent thyroid underactivity. But if you understand that this can complicate people's interpretation of uh, T3, T4, and TSH. And you also need to bear in mind, do you have active disease? You, if you do thyroid antibody testing, you can often detect that you've actually got an autoimmune condition. And that autoimmune condition can lead to periodic hyperactivity, hyperthyroidism, followed by persistent hypothyroidism. So oh, periodic overactivity followed by persistent underactivity. So it, it's not as simple as people would think. You can't just look at T3 and say, my thyroid's doing this. Right, right. And I agree. I mean, my T3 has gone down compared to when I was not carnivore, but I feel fine. My TSH is lower within the range, but on the lower end, and my T3 has gone down. And I do not believe I'm clinically hypothyroid, but there have been remarks that I am just because my marker was under two for my T3. And I just think it's, I have more energy than ever and I'm producing ketones and I feel well. And I think that's a big indicator of health is how you feel and all the other markers that are with the T3. But again, on the internet, so many people have said, if a marker, if your T3 is under like 2.5, that means that you are hypothyroid. Yeah, you, you simply can't make those kind of arbitrary claims without backing it up with evidence. And I've never seen any evidence. Right.